Ты бабушка. Иди, ты бабушка. This is our morning migration to the barn. Uh, you can see uh, the wife is bundled because she thinks it's cold. It's not cold yet. <clears throat> we got all the kids with us today um, as we slowly meander. See our uh, mamushka doing her mamushka dance. Look at her. Come on, go get to the dance. There it is. Mamushka. Give it to Mamushka! Whoa! We're about to go into the pen with the chicken coop. Let's see if we can't find us an egg. Oh, I think I see one. I see one right back in there. Excuse me, chickens. We got us an egg right there. Still slightly warm. So we bought this big old egg hatching nest box from a neighbor and they work great for them. And we have not yet had a chicken lay a single egg inside this box, have we? All right. It's feeding time so the animals are allowed. But yeah, it's supposed to work really well but our chickens just use it as a roosting box. They don't get in it to lay eggs, which is kind of odd. Excuse me, chicken. Oh, I think there's another egg down there. Let's see it. I can do this with a camera. Another egg. So this big bird here, the big giant white one, in comparison to the other ones, She's our, our mama bird. She was a meat chicken um, that when we cold or when we butchered our other meat chickens, she was just too small. And so we put her in with a lone duck that we had and uh, they kind of bonded and became friends. And then um, the duck is actually with the other ducks still, but uh, she started laying eggs. I think she still lays eggs. Yeah, she still lays eggs every now and then. So. Uh, we, we're keeping her around for now, but she's getting too big, and uh, <laughs> I think she intimidates the roosters. Um, but uh, I think she might end up being like Thanksgiving dinner or something. Or we might just keep her. No. 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 Maybe Kill maybe dinner. Her. Maybe <laughs> maybe dinner. <laughs> Are you hungry? Can you talk about where we get this? So we get this from a local, uh, what would you call it? I guess it's a grocery store. 
But it's a big tourist stop uh, just north of us up here. And what they do is they sell um, they sell all their scrap foods, like they sell all their scrap uh, lettuce and tomatoes and potatoes and fruit and stuff like that that they make because they have all these tourists that come in and uh, uh, they make all these sandwiches and stuff for them. So they have all these leftover scraps of food and they just sell them for us local homesteaders to feed to our animals. It's really good to give them a little boost of nutrients and stuff in the middle of winter. Half a bag is two dollars. Okay. Yeah, like a, one big old black bag is like five bucks. So it's, it's, it's pretty good. What's this stuff? What's this stuff? Let's explain. So this is spent grain that we also get from a place north of us here. Um, we're kind of on the fence on it. I don't know if it's enough nutrients for our pigs, so we'd like to supplement with other things. Make sure they get healthy and not lacking on things. But um, there's a brewery up, up the way here that have so much, has so much of it they just give them away. And um, so, yeah, we've been trying to test it out on them. It's also supposed to be really good for our garden. So hopefully that's not coming here. We spread a whole bunch of it out on our garden area. And then um, hopefully this next year we'll have our plants grow a little bit better. Uh, in the meantime, no, it's good for our animals. Oh, it's full. There's nothing special, but you see, it's just just grain that's been soaked in water. Oh. And our, our pigs really like it. Supposedly, you can feed it to all kinds of animals. But <laughs> He's like, feed me now! So he's the little one, is, uh, one actually got her pregnant, which is kind of amazing, considering he's like half her size. It's not the size that matters. Like. <laughs> All right, everybody. So now that our morning chores are done, we're working on to our next project. Um, we got this four wheeler from some friends of ours, the same people that helped us with the sand well point or sand point well. And so we are trying to attach the plow 
underneath the four wheeler here. And um, right now, the previous owners of the plow put these bolts in to um, keep it canted off to the side. I'm gonna try to flatten it out so it's just straight. If I can. What am I doing? So just hold the wrench on the nut. Hold my nut. There's a hee hee in there somewhere. <laughs> You're dirty. You didn't hold the nut. I'm not very good at this. You hold nuts all the time. Shut up. <laughs> dirty. I don't want to do that. I have. Try to keep it on the nut. Yeah. What happens when you play with rusted things? Sometimes a nut just needs to be busted. Daddy, this is R rated. <laughs> Just try some percussive maintenance. Okay. Success! I can't zip it. Well, there we go. Ta da! It's straight. Dad, look at my bed, though. So good. So fast. Here you go. As our kids scream in the background, we're on to the next part. We're going to use these U bolts. <laughs> use the U bolts to hold it up underneath the bottom. All right, love, you want to show down here? Why well, Jackie is on the other side there? I don't know how to do that. Me? Yeah. See, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to put this little crossbar here so you guys can see my finger. And I'm going to try to attach it up to this crossbar. Something like that. Does that make sense? I'm going to have to raise up the other end, I think. Okay, yeah. So we'll raise the other end and then go from there. <laughs> Stop it. You're wasting film. Okay, so we got this back on there. And then we totally use a easel. I don't know. We still totally do a not sketchy wiring job. <laughs> it 
can uh, weld pretty fast. Things you do on low budget. Low budget. No budget. No low budget, budget, low budget. There we go. So now it's high enough. We'll get the positive lead away. 